Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is on using Envelope Distort in Illustrator to create more realistic looking fashion illustrations with pattern fill. So you can see on the left here, this garment illustration is filled with a flat stripe swatch, and it doesn't look very realistic. The stripe doesn't really follow the sleeve or the body or the hood as it would naturally. The illustration over on the right, you can see we've manipulated the stripe pattern to run a little bit more naturally with the body and the garment, which gives it a little bit more dimension and realism. So I'm going to move this one off to the side. I'm going to show you how we did this with this flat illustration as a starting point over here on the left. The first thing I want to point out is that you want to draw each of your body parts as individual shapes. So anything you want to manipulate independently, in this instance it, for me it was the sleeve, the kangaroo pouch, um, and the three different portions of the hood I drew as individual shapes and you'll see why in just a minute so that's sort of the first starting point so I'm going to take the sleeve and I like to work with my my pattern pieces over off to the side um, it just makes things a little bit more easy to do and what I want to do is I want to give this a fill of none and just leave the black stroke on it I'm then going to draw a rectangle on top of it that extends beyond all sides and I'm going to put my stripe pattern swatch in there and I want it to be actually the same size that it is in my body so I'll just use my eyedropper to grab that. Take the black stroke off and I'm going to send that to the back. Now I'm going to go ahead and just lock the sleeve because it's a little bit easier to work with this with the sleeve on top locked. From here I choose object, envelope, distort, make with mesh, specifically make with mesh. I choose that and we turn my preview on and I know that for this example a row and column of about 4x4 four four works great so I choose OK. Now what I can do is I have the ability with the direct selection tool to manipulate and move each of these individual mesh points and change the pattern that's really cool. Um, I want to do it in a little bit more organized manner for the sleeve as opposed to just changing one individual anchor point at a time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the top eight anchor points and I'm going to use the rotate tool to rotate those. So I've got the top eight selected with the direct selection tool and with the rotate tool selected I just click and rotate and I just want to rotate the stripe so that it goes at an angle a little bit more natural with the upper portion of the arm. I'll do the same thing on the bottom, the direct selection tool to select those bottom eight anchor points and I'll rotate the pattern on the bottom a little bit. I then want to take these four anchor points that are in the middle and I just need to push those out a little bit so that they curve a little bit more naturally with the sleeve. So that's starting to look pretty good. I again can always come in and manipulate individual anchor points if I want to add some different curvature to the pattern depending on what part of the body I'm trying to fill. I'm going to unlock my sleeve I'm going to choose these two shapes and I'm going to make a clipping mask. So I choose object, clipping mask, make. I then want to give my sleeve back its black stroke. So I select the sleeve and I apply the black stroke to that. We'll then realign this with the body. So with that selected, I also select the sleeve that um, it's going to take place of. And I'm going to choose a line left and a line bottom. I'll go ahead and send that one to the back delete the one that's on top that was the original and now I've got this pattern filled in the sleeve in a much more natural and realistic way. I would go ahead and do this for each of the other parts of the body, um, manipulating them accordingly to get the pattern to look a little more realistic. Now once we have our whole garment together we might decide that we want to manipulate it independently um, to make it look a little bit better. So we can come in here and we can manipulate again with the direct selection tool um, each little portion at a time if we need to. We can also though what is really great is we can actually manipulate the pattern after we've already filled it. So let's say we decide now we want a plaid pattern not a stripe pattern. What I do is I select this instance of envelope distort and I choose object envelope distort edit contents. You'll notice right now that with this pattern selected my fill color is just showing as a solid gray. What it's showing me is just the envelope distort. So it's not actually working with the pattern, it's working with the envelope distort. See, I've got all my mesh points, etc., that I can manipulate. So I want to choose Object, Envelope Distort, Edit Contents. From there, I've actually got the pattern swatch selected. You can see it changed over in my toolbar here. I can then come and change it to be a plaid. 
and you'll notice that the plaid is wrapping to the sleeve. Now at this point it's not wrapping as naturally as I like. Each pattern is going to be a little bit different and you might have to do some tweaking as you fill. I find that plaids and stripes visually are the easiest to get to line up with the body so you might want to fill it with a plaid or a stripe get that to line up with the body the way you want and then you can put different patterns in later. Now I want to manipulate the pattern so I come back in object envelope distort edit envelope. At this point I can come in and start manipulating the plaid to run along the sleeve in a way that looks natural. That already looks better there. So let's just look at if we had filled this sleeve with the plaid see how it's filled flat and it runs straight this looks much more natural and realistic so that's a great thing to know that you can edit the pattern even after you've applied the envelope distort again you're just going to have to come in and choose object envelope distort and switch back and forth between editing contents and editing envelope we would go ahead and finish creating the rest of the envelopes for each of the portions of our garment illustration and we would be left with an end result that looks like a much more realistically filled body like we've got over here on the right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. This is So Heidi.